What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Mind Something. If you're new here, my name is Jake and in today's video, I wanted to take a look at a strategy that some of us hardcore hobbyist miners often ignore. You know, as a mining enthusiast, we often struggle to give any type of blockchain that's not proof of work our appreciation. And part of that is because we want to fight for the industry that provides us revenue and to continue mining. But if I'm being honest, we as a community even discourage other types of blockchain consensus mechanisms with this sense of moral superiority. And over the past few years, as I get deeper into this industry, I have come to realize that many proof of work projects have similar traits with respect to foul behavior and manipulation as our proof of stake counterparts. Now, granted, I, of course, am a proof of work maxi, but I realized when it comes to my financial well being, I may not be doing what is most advantageous if I don't put in the research. So today, I want to explore ECA or electric cost averaging as a strategy. I would like to compare some of the highest conviction proof of work coins against some of the top 10 by market cap coins, as well as some top meme coins. Now, profitability ranges from day to day, but I have noticed over the course of the last few years that I can safely assume a specific amount of revenue each day. Everyone's farm size is different, of course, so we're going to use some nice round numbers to make this analysis easy, and you should be able to apply this to your own scenario. So before we get started, let me apologize for the lengthy absence. Uh, I know a lot of you guys have been missing the videos. It's been about two months since my last one. And I'm in the middle of starting a new business, and that's taken a lot of my attention. But I am still here. I'm paying very close attention. And I try to focus my efforts on things that I feel can be the most useful to the average miner in the audience. So I humbly ask if you find this content valuable that you hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. Now, I know a lot of you out there pay attention to the market on a daily basis and you're probably aware that back in March proof of work had a really nice surge uh, it seemed like it seemed like there were some regulation concerns around proof of stake as a consensus mechanism and proof of work really seemed to shine at that time but since then and over the course of the last I'd say 60 days or so most proof of work coins are not doing great. Now, we do have some that have stood out a little bit here and there, but you know, as a whole, proof of work has not been doing good. As we go through this list, you can see over the course of the last 7 days, pretty much everything is in red right now. Uh, we've got a few exceptions like Veris Coin, uh, Flux, Cortex, and Caspa has done a little bit here lately. And of course, there's other coins that aren't on this list. We got some new ones like Zealous that's done pretty well. But I'd like to show you my portfolio tracker here within Coin Market Cap. Now I've got my totals hidden, but you can see that Caspa has been my biggest performer since I updated this, and Nexa has been my worst performer. But we can see how my portfolio's profit has done compared to Bitcoin. So my portfolio is going to be in blue and BTC is going to be in the yellow. And like I said, back here in, uh, we'll say roughly around December of 2023, I seem to be doing very good comparatively to Bitcoin. Uh, and then about March, we also had a really nice peak, but then Bitcoin started to catch up. And since then, Bitcoin has outperformed my portfolio by about 75% which is a pretty tough pill to swallow if I'm being honest. And I wish that, let's say for example, I had the foresight to know that the spot Bitcoin ETF was really going to change that market dominance and I could have prepared for that. But my strategy has pretty much been the same all throughout this last couple of years to just simply mine and hold all of the coins that I'm mining. I don't do a whole lot of trading but I'm starting to kind of rethink that. And in fact, when we got to this point, I really started to kind of pull back on some of the coins that I was holding on to and swapping them for some of the coins that I had a little bit more conviction in. And CoinMarketCap has the ability to sort by different categories. 
and I want to compare some of the blue chip coins as well as some of the meme coins to some of my high conviction plays that I have in proof of work. So you can see over the course of the last seven days, some of these meme coins have done very well. This one, uh, Dog Go to the Moon, is up 80%. Cats in a Dog's World up 35%. Brett up 62%. Maga Trump up 87%. Turbo up 60%. But even if you take a look, uh, going back, let's say, for instance, a year, um, you can see it has just been outrageous. Now, granted, there's a lot of different meme coins out there, and you don't know what's going to do well. So for this particular video, what I've done is I've just cherry-picked basically the top meme coins by market cap that have been around at least a year. And in that case, it's going to be Dogecoin, Shiba Inu, Pepe, Loki, and Bonk. Now, Book of Meme hasn't been around that long. Dog with Hat hasn't been around that long. So we're just going to use something that's been around at least a year so that we have a apples-to-apples -apples comparison. Now, there's some really useful websites out there like this Crypto DCA. Uh, I didn't have to do the math on all of these with a tool like this, but unfortunately, they don't have every single coin. So... Let's take, for example, one that they do have. We'll say Bitcoin. If we were to DCA $10 in Bitcoin every day over the course of a year, we would be up about 78% on that portfolio. Now, we're talking about $3,680 if we're going $10 every single day for 365 days. Technically, be $3,650, uh, but it looks like we've got an extra day or two. And a 78% return is a pretty good investment. In fact, it's much better than you're going to find in most places. But of course, we all know that Bitcoin isn't going to move as far as percentages are concerned as much as some of the other lower cap coins. But they have a variety of coins in here like Ethereum, BNB, XRP, Cardano, Solano, Dogecoin, Polygon. Uh, but unfortunately, they don't have much. So I had to do the math manually on some of these things, and that took me a considerable amount of time. And essentially what I had to do was I had to pull up the chart of each of these coins that I was going to compare, take a look at the price that it was at the beginning of the month, and then take a snapshot at the end of the month. And then I would add those two together divide by two, and that would give me somewhat of an average. Now, granted, there's going to be some variance here, but if we were DCAing $10 a day, that's going to get us pretty close. And if we compare all of them exactly the same, then we should get a pretty good understanding of how it all plays out. So here I've got a Google Sheet spreadsheet started where I take a snapshot of that first month. So we've got essentially 12 months worth of data. And based on $10 per day, we would get roughly 571 CASPA per day if this were a year ago. The following month, we'd get 307. The following month, 243, and so on. And then we have a daily total. Then what I've done is I've multiplied that daily total by 30, and we get an annual total. So every single one of these coins that I've added to the list, I have an annual total, and then we're going to multiply that total by the price of the coin today. And I think some of these results are going to be absolutely shocking. Okay, we're gonna start with the proof of work category first. And my first coin on the list is Caspa. This was one of my best performers in mining performance so far. And if I had put $10 towards Caspa every day for my mining revenue, that would garner me 66,240 Caspa coins. And we're looking at a grand total in terms of today's value at $9,127 or a gain of 150%, which is really good. However, we do have uh, a couple on here that are really going to surprise you. So next up, we've got Alephium coming in at $13,454 or a gain of 268%, which surprisingly did outperform Caspa uh, and was the top performer in the proof of work category. Next up, we've got Bitcoin coming in at just about doubling our initial investment at $6,563 or a gain of about 79%. Now, I don't hold a very large bag of flux, but I think that a lot of miners would consider that a high conviction coin as far as what they've been holding over the course of the last couple of years. 
and that one outperformed Bitcoin just slightly, sitting at about 81% or $6,608. And then lastly, for the proof of work category, we've got Okta, which actually did really well. Now, I don't know if this is on a lot of people's radar, but it has been on mine. It does have a very good looking chart. And so far, this one did pretty good. Not as quite as good as Alephium, but we're looking at $10,847 or a gain of about 200%. And if we average all five of these together, we've got an average return of about 155% or $9,320, which is about a 3x from our initial investment. So that's pretty good. All right, so next category on the list is going to be the top 10 coins by market cap. Now, I did not choose all of the top five by market cap, excluding Bitcoin. Kind of cherry picked a little bit here because i wanted to choose proof of stake coins and i wanted to make sure that there was some volatility take for example xrp has been pretty much a stable coin over the past year and i also didn't want to include bnb because not everyone has access to trade that so first up we've got ethereum uh, ethereum did about a 78 percent gain which was just slightly under bitcoin's performance with a total of six thousand five hundred and three dollars and then next up, we've got Solana, which did perform extremely well. Uh, you would have gotten about a 325% increase or a total of $15,548, which so far on the list is our top performer. Next up, we've got Cardano, which has not done very good at all. You still would have had a percentage gain increase of about 20%, but you're only looking at $4,357 in revenue. Natan has performed pretty well over the course of the last year, and that would be up about 177%, and you'd have a bag of about $10,145. And then lastly in this category, we've got Avalanche coming in at about an 86% gain for a total of $6,817. Now, if you took all five of these and averaged them out, you'd be looking at a return of about 137% or a total fiat value of $8,674, which is underperforming our proof of work category. Now here is where things start to get interesting. First up on our meme coin list, we have Pepe. Pepe has been around for a little while. And if you had dollar cost average $10 a day of your mining revenue towards Pepe over the course of the last year, you would have $36,000 or a gain of almost 900%. Now, you're probably going to say to yourself at this point, well, that's kind of unusual. Not all meme coins are going to perform that well. So let's take a look at the next one. Next up, we've got Floki. If you had mined $10 worth of Floki every single day over the course of the last year, you would have a bag of about $24,000 and you'd be up about 560%. Coming in third on the list is our number one performer out of all of these different coins, and that would be Bonk. You're looking at $157,000 and about 4,228% gain. Next up, we've got Shiba Inu coming in at $9,261 or a gain of about 153%, still even outperforming Caspa. And then coming in at last place for the meme coins, we've got Doge at $7,208 or 97%. And if you average all five of these together, you're looking at 1,186% or approximately $46,954 on average if you had traded that $10 worth of mining revenue every day over the course of a year. Now, before you go out and start trading all of your revenue for meme coins, let me caution you with a couple of things here. Number one, meme coins are highly volatile and we could potentially be topping right now. There is a lot going on in the crypto space and it seems to me that there is a possibility where we could be topping out much sooner in this cycle than we have in previous cycles. And typically what happens when we start to top is meme coins go crazy, celebrities get involved and start creating meme coins, and also keep in mind we just got the Bitcoin Spot ETF and the Ethereum ETF. 
And if you take a look at this fractal that I posted earlier today on Twitter, you're going to see that when we look at where previous cycles topped out, this fractal does look very similar. So all fractals are subject to be invalidated at any given time, but the similarities really can't be denied here. So just a word of caution, it may be too late for meme coins, but maybe something to keep in mind for the next cycle. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. I want to hear your comments down below. Is this blasphemy to the miners out there? Or do you perhaps implement this strategy already or have you in the past? With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Do me a favor before you go, hit that like. And if you haven't subscribed already, do that. And I will see you on the next one.